Hello and welcome to load balancing socket IO Node.js application. In this video, only load balance our Node.js application that is using socket IO. Let's get started. I have two Node.js application which is running on this server and this server. These are two instances, uh, two different servers running the same Node.js application. We'll try to load balance uh, our request to these two server using nginx. Okay, uh, we are load We are trying to implement the uh, solution from this this repo. Now, uh, this repo is trying to find a perfect solution to load balance socket IO application. There is a solution which will have the sticky session so we'll try to implement that and verify that uh, we can implement not just application we can so that we can verify that we can load balance socket i not just application okay let's first check the code i have a simple not just application that will just return a static file when we request to the root directory and this has uh, some static files so and this will start our socket server. Okay, our socket R, our socket contain. So we, we are using socket IO Redis adapter, which is also officially recommended from socket IO. Okay, let's just simply implement this socket IO adapter and we have configured to accept the host and port from the environment variable. So or to load balance our application with a different system we need to load balance our application so the the both application both instance should share the same race ready server so we can import that ready server so we need to share the ready server so just we can change and the host of the ready server and it will be good to go also there is one information name called server we will place some identifier like for now we will use one and pwo okay what oh that be one and two so we can identify on the server our request is going to okay socket i have some on, on connection we can event a user can a client can trigger and join event which will join the user to a group with that same name okay so if my a username is saga and we join the user to a group name saga is for just a simplicity purpose we also push the array the user to and users array in our redis client we also use this redis client to share the total number of applicate total number of users in our system the and their usernames so we can message to some users selecting those users and once the user is connected we will pass all the users connected to the system and, and we broadcast new users okay socket on send and it will be triggered when a user try to send a message so when the send event is triggered we just trigger a message event to the user they are targeting and on disconnect if the user we have joined the user we just remove the user from the from the redis user array and we also broadcast broadcast that a user has left okay mm -hmm. and let's also check our client side socket in our client side we have on message we just display the message on connection which is will be triggered after join event join this event has been success so we just display the information of the data the server and the data the server come from uh, mm -hmm. data the server process that env the server so this will be solved from this this part okay and on new user we just add the users and build the to array and also whenever the connected it will send the list of all the existing user we also go pull those users and build those, those users so you can send and select the users from the drop down and when user left we just remove the user and build that drop down 
the this join pin is will trigger when join button is clicked join tapped and the send is going to send the message these two function are a message to add our message and the message from other users to the web page and this function is to give the drop down for to select the users to whom we need to send the message okay let's 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 check in action okay let's for before load balancing let's check if this circuit works within the same application uh -huh. let's try to join ads uh, system say connected to server one since this ip is of server one we always connect to server one and I'm going to exactly going to connect but because of some error we should see the ram here okay we are seeing sita let's just try to send the, the message to sita and if it appears let's assume that it works uh, also uh, some small fix and in some minutes I small fix so to to verify that is working but uh, permanent fix will be I'll be update take the, this git repo with permanent solution uh -huh, okay we send hello message to sita and sita get the message from the okay if we can select ram we can send them send the message to ram okay our our focus is to no. We don't want our user to see this IP, so we will reverse proxy. Uh, we we'll use Nginx proxy to hide these masses and load balance our application. And any request coming to that domain will be proxied among these with uh, the load balancing method we select. Uh, I have already set up this uh, chat.bagandapal.com domain with uh, the same. Uh, this with the configuration defined in this page uh, let's send that configuration first uh -huh. um, so get IO solution so here are two servers localhost and localhost n2 this is a demo so localhost and localhost 2 but uh, in the server we can be able to use this and this instance different server and the then the server name with chat.blogger.com okay now let's verify that the application is open since since we are using ips we cannot verify just like that with the new tab so we need to use some some vpn or some other services like that uh, I have I have a whole app VPN installed in the browser this could be here I have the whole app VPN installed in the browser so okay yeah, that's open since we are accessing it through the let's just refresh this so with that remaining the memory it will be clear let's do in from this on the line it will be connected to server 1 let's do in with Sita and then it will be connected to server 2 okay let's try to send message to Sita okay Click on the message. Uh, we send message back to run uh, because of some error. The RAM didn't get it out here. And let's set escape element and add just to verify that this actually work. Uh, 
we just need from here. Since the RAM is still connected, uh, this, this will create that much here. Okay, let's just refresh this. Let's just add another option here. And to run. And here. Okay, so here we go. Let's send a Lucy by name. Okay, that matches. And then run. Okay. So it's going to run to run from Sita. So we get a run from Sita. So that's working. So load balance is, is working with the uh, two server, but in our case, we are using IPS, so load balancing is working, but for that, we need to be aware of some condition. Let's also check the server configuration. Here is the the proxy setup. Uh, any request to chat that Baga Nepal platform will be transferred to either this or this server based on the IP connected. So any request will be load balanced to among the server. But since we are using IP has, so if we have some if a user sees a lot of data that will be always going to the same server that will be the issue but for now we are implementing we just implement load balancing in our node.js application also to load balance we also need to share the as i have already mentioned we need to share the redis connection Redis connection we need to connect to the same same Redis so setup so both both uh, this server and this server should be connected to a uh, similar or uh, not similar but a same Redis server so we have passed all the Redis information we can pass through that environment variable so. So let's check this one here. Yeah. So this is also connected to the ready server. The ready server is from the host one. Then yeah, this is is here by also host two also use the same setup and this this port is also export exposed to the internet or world internet. But you can you can just limit that to certain IP. Just this proxy server. So it won't be accessed through access from all over the world so we can implement our load balancing with socket io that the right exist but for now we just have um based on our knowledge we can just only use with sticky stations and ips uh, here are all the information or also if any change and update either i'll be updating here okay thank you and at last so we need the sticky session and the and ready server should be shared among a similar same server should be used in both instance with that 
you can add it load balancing with socket IO. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.